reason I'm standing uh, in the, in, in, as a candidate for uh, on the Auckland Future ticket along with, with my three, three, uh, three friends down there is because I believe I can help. I be believe I can do something. Particularly in this area here, in sport. Um, I left school when I was 14. Um, all I could do when I left school was make an Olympic match train. Sport saved me, saved me. I'm 70 years old in two weeks and I've been involved in sport for 65 years. I started when I was five years old. I had a career of over 25 years as a professional coach. But prior to that, I was an amateur coach. I was a community person, just like most people are um, here in New Zealand. Probably 95%, 99% of coaches and, and administrators and whatnot in sport are, are community volunteers. So I believe in it strongly, and I've seen personally what it can do for you, the difference it can make to, to, to young lives. Um, I'll quickly just answer this first question. Um, I wrote it down here for you because I, I saw John in the last one, and, he, and he's an ex-school teacher, and he said, you better things written down, so I'll prompt you, John. Um, answer a question, one, my career as a coach, at every level, from under six up to international. Um, uh, quite a, played against, uh, I coached against every rugby league nation. Um, we beat every rugby league nation when I was playing, when I was coaching. Personally, I was never an international player. My mother and I thought I was a great player, but the selectors weren't very good at the time. <laughs> but, um, I've also coached the state of origin. I've had an intimate understanding and, and uh, connection with stadiums in the UK, in Australia, and New Zealand. I understand the, the facilities. I understand renting of them, the value of them, the use of them, the multi-use of them. I've seen it first hand and I've worked on it, on it first hand. Um, question two. You can see the space bar now. Um, because of my, my experience and the respect I'm privileged to enjoy, um, I'm in a position to understand and communicate and facilitate what needs to be done sport-wise. I, I am definitely in that position, I've got those credentials. That, uh, that everyone can see clearly. Um, I, I don't quite understand what this question is, is about because to me it's covered by everything else. Um, but sports taught me the virtues of pride, and this is what it can do for everybody. It's taught me the virtues of pride, persistence, teamwork, selflessness, commitment, and humility. That's what happens when you join sport. They're the things that come along without realising it. And when you're involved in sport, sport is more than just a recreation. Sport has, in the palm of its hand, the future of our kids. Our mum and dad, they teach us a lot and they do a lot for us and they educate us and they, they guide us through life. But sport plays a major part that has nothing to do with mum and dad. The coaches, when you're a coach, you're coaching more than the skills of the game. You're developing all sorts of things and you've got the lives of those kids in the palm of your hand. Just if I can just tell you one little story that sticks in my mind. I'll go back to one seat. Right after this. Okay. When the first year I, I began coaching, just like everyone else does, because no one else would do the job. I was, as a, I was an Odahu, I was a former Odahu rugby league player. And I got knocked on the door one day and someone wanted, they wanted me to take over the Odahu 8th grade team, which were 15 year old boys. And there was a couple of 14 year olds. I went down from the first training session, and those days, coach, uh, practice for all sports was on Tuesday and Thursday. So I went down to the first training session, 6 o'clock I bought a new track suit, a clipboard and goodness knows what, and 6 o'clock there was no one there, the floodlights were on, there was, but I couldn't see anyone. And I waited around for a while and I saw this old car on the side of the road, so I went knocked on the window, it was full of smoke, knocked on the window, but there was five kids inside it, and I said, could you come in with the only weight right up? And these boys said, yeah, yeah, wear it. And plus, a, plus a few other words. And um, so I said to them, you know, aren't you supposed to be out training? And that's, so they said another few words that, I, that, that it's coach talk. I can't tell you about it in here. But um, <laughs> anyhow, I said, well, you better get another 20 boys because if there's not 25 here on Thursday, I'm withdrawing the team. So as I walked away, I could hear them effing and blinding me and giving me all the, all the, all the lip and whatnot. But I turned up on Thursday with 25 kids. Of those five kids in the car, Three of them became professionals. Two of them became internationals. And I know if I hadn't tapped on the window, at least two of them would have ended up in jail. And that's the power of sport. That's what we've got. We've got to take care. We've got to knock on the windows. 
and it taught, it taught me a really good lesson, you know, in, in communication. Leaving school as I did at 14, I was, I was considered and I thought of myself as totally illegit, not, not educated. And it wasn't until I became involved heavily in sport that I realised I had learned the most important thing. And that's to be yourself, because everyone else is taken. And that's a big lesson that I've, that I've learned from sport. And that's what I, if, if, if elected, that's what I'll bring along here. I mean, you, what you see is what you're going to get if, if I'm elected and I hope I am. Um, Lisa and I tried really, really hard up here in Delhi. We, we, we're trying really hard for the <coughs> But I'm not going to compromise my principles to fit in with what I think is mediocrity. If I see mediocrity, I'm not compromising. So I won't be spoiling any rats for anyone. And if, if I don't agree with it, I'll be jumping up and down like a, like a man, but I can tell you. I know, we, I know that we've got to collaborate. But I'm not going to allow that to, to and I'm, oh, I have collaborated full time. Oh, I have collaborated plenty of times uh, over all sorts of issues, but I won't compromise my principles to fit in. I love sport. Sport, sport can't, the effectiveness of sport can't really be measured. It's impossible really to measure it because it does so many hidden things for our society. And that's why I'm so passionate about it. Um, and that's what I'll be working on if I do get the opportunity.